I don't know what's been going on uh, recently. I've been going through some manic... <clears throat> well, some some kind of manic episodes. I mean, where it almost feels like I'm having a lorazepam withdrawal, where I'm having intrusive thoughts, and and I'm... It was just a little bit of a stretch today to get my bearings, and I, I didn't like that, you know, and I, I, I don't know, it's kind of, I, I feel like it's kind of comical, I mean, I, I was saying, well, yeah, you're, one, you're having one of those days that's a chemical imbalance, meaning chemical imbalance, a la prescription drugs, and then I thought, which isn't much different from how you, at all different from how you were before you took prescription drugs. I mean, you know, every, there were, I just, I think I would be probably be floored. I think I would probably be intensely fascinated to, to, to remember the kind of fear that I felt. Um, sometimes I just remember feeling fear a specific example would be like I was about to do a, a project and I would I would have a fear of it going wrong or, or I, there would just be this really hard to identify fear like what am I going to do and, and and maybe it was maybe it's a fear of, of me being frustrated maybe maybe that's it maybe it's a fear of me have, being determined to work on something and that being kind of like a little piece of gold, and then finding that I lost something and, and going around and, and screaming and shouting and cursing myself because I can't find a battery or I can't find this or I can't find that. And, you know, I, maybe that had a lot to do with it. Um, but the Paxil, I think, has really helped that in a big way, and I'm thankful for that. I'm very thankful. I can't, I just saw Take Shelter, and it was a good movie. Um, it it deals with mental illness on a, a certain level, and Michael Shannon is is in his brilliant performance. He goes through so much, and the film's a little slow. And you and you want what he's going through. And it says you're root, you're definitely rooting for him, so you want what he's going through to to be true. And the ending is brilliant. I won't tell you whether it's true or not. But the ending is absolutely brilliant. And he goes through so much that you want you want you want the ending to go on. You want there to be more. You want the, there to be, you want to see you know what what he was envisioning kind of be more of a a, a thing. Because it's it's really it's really powerful um, in terms of I, I mean I just love I love what it um, what it suggests about him as a, as a character um, that he's clairvoyant in a certain extent and I'm sorry but that is a big spoiler so I'll go ahead and label this with spoilers but. He goes through so much, and he thinks he's mentally ill, and you're and you're just you're afraid for him, and you're afraid for his situation, and then you, you're kind of rooting for the end of the world to happen. You're kind of like, I want to see some, you know, I don't want this to end on a cheesy note. I don't want this to end where they're trapped in their bunker. I want this to end where I see people walking around in a, in a trance. You know, or flowing downstream, fighting with <laughs> fighting with one another, and bodies flow, flowing out of windows, and um, all all the while, Michael Shannon and his family are uh, have just come through uh, one of the one of the nightmares that he had, which came to fruition, fruition and, and became a reality, and now they're they've come through that, and now they're at the hospital, and and uh, through this big window in the hospital, you can see like twenty 
funnel clouds forming uh, towards the ground in this black, horrendous, black and gray shaped cloud that looks almost like an alien being or something. Um, I could have used more of what what actually happened. It, it, there's a certain element to conventionality that um, you know you can you know a good it's a good film it's well constructed it, it, there's nothing there's nothing wrong with it I mean there was one shot that was interesting it kind of uh, in a in a sweet way I don't mean this in a in a critical way uh, in the sense that because I think it was a really good film but there was one shot that kind of reminded me of a student project and I think that I don't know how to, I mean, he's just, it's not, it's not a big deal. He's in an office with another person and the camera's above them and looking down on them. And I just thought there's something, you know, so easy about this setup that it looks, you know, it, it looks simple and, it, and it's, um, filmmaking really is not simple. Uh, as you know, there's, there's nothing quite like being able to construct all the elements with with the actors and the, the tremendous effects and 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 the the searing bizarre creepy quality and, and putting that all together and stringing a narrative along and I think that as a general rule there's it's like as a general rule as a as a it's almost like a foundation of reality itself that a certain film grounded in a certain way with certain parameters it, it it's going to get it's going to flow that way it's going to flow in a conventional way it's going to flow in the flavor of convention and it's always awesome to see a huge transformation from that convention into something more bizarre and I think that that's it, you know. I mean, I think that it's the difference between liking David Lynch and liking Charlie Kaufman. I mean, you, you know, you can like all kinds of films, but some people really gravitate towards gritty, down-in-the-dirt thrillers that are grounded in reality and about real people who are going crazy. And I like a fantasy element with a reality element um, because I think within fantasy and surrealism and, and dream logic, you can really do a lot. The, the, the floor is open to you. There's no, there's no rules. Anything can, anything can happen. And you have a lot more options. And it's exciting. And it's, it's bizarre. And it's creepy. And it's weird. And um, you're dealing with a lot of emotions and love and, and characters that are bonded. But there's a supernatural undetected part of the human brain and, and part of the universe that we have not been able to clearly define yet and I like that I like that in my films um, and I kind of thought you know when I saw the trailer I go well this is definitely a conventional film but people it, you know it was four stars and people were saying it was great so I, I really um, all the all the critics were saying it's great, so I had to go see it, um, and it's well worth seeing. So go take go see Take Shelter when you have an opportunity.